5 investigates digging into the history of manhole explosions and inspections. Let's get right out to our Kathy Curran for more. Kathy. And Erica, the state ordered new manhole and stray voltage safety guidelines in 2005 after a Holliston teen was critically injured when a flying manhole cover crashed through the windshield of his father's car. You can see the damage from the manhole flying through the windshield of this SUV as the teen was riding with his father in Natick back in July of 2004. The 18 year old was critically injured. That incident was one of several safety issues that prompted new guidelines outlined in this report. The manholes involved Whoa. today are part of NSTAR system, which does business as Eversource. There have been many explosions and fires in recent years. Five investigates took a look at the company's manhole safety inspections and found in 2018 there were 5,621 manholes inspected. Last year, only about 3,400, which is a 38% drop in inspections in four years. And we asked Eversource for inspection information for the manholes involved today. A spokesperson tells us they can't comment due to the ongoing investigation. They say they're working with the state and other officials to determine exactly what happened. Kathy Carn 5 investigates.